Welcome back. Assuming you watched our previous video on or off or off server with Spring Boot. If you haven't, I recommend checking it out before continuing with this one. In this video, we'll be creating an OAuth for resource server with Spring Boot 3. Create Spring Boot resource server project with Spring Boot 3 and add the essential dependencies. They are Spring Boot starter security and Spring Boot starter off to a resource server. Dependencies ensure secure access to the resource server with a valid token. Next, update application properties, set server port as 8090 and configure JWT issue URI as localhost 9000. Then, we'll create a simple model call product with two fields, ID and name. After that, we'll create a product controller and annotate it as REST controller. This controller will expose two recipes, HTTP get and post slash product. The get API is for retrieving products, while the post API is for adding a new product. Moving on, we'll create a class called JWT security config and annotate it as configuration. JWT security config class has security filter chain bean to allow authorized clients access to specific endpoints. The security filter chain receives a required scope or authority from a JWT token passed by the client in the request header. For instance, if the client has the product, read scope, they can call get slash product. On the other hand, if the client has the product, read scope, they can call post slash product. Once we have completed the development, we can test our endpoints using Postman. Firstly, to acquire a JWT token. Navigate to Postman's authorization tag and input necessary details, including client ID, secret scope, etc. Then, we can proceed with testing by inputting the correct URL, HTTP method, and passing the request body. If the test is successful, it returns a status code of 200. Conversely, if the token is invalid or the access is unauthorized, it generates a status code of 401 or 403, respectively. That's it. We have successfully created an OAuth Tor resource server with Spring Boot 3. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Our upcoming video demonstrates how to create an OAuth Tor client server that utilizes OAuth Tor's authorization and resource servers. Thanks for watching.